Welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown on USA. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. You know, so much animosity, so much jealousy, competitiveness, fights and brawls. You saw what happened just a few moments ago. Carmelo Hayes blindsided the United States champion LA Knight. What began as a chance interaction mid-match several months back at Money in the Bank has led to this point for the sixth time. This is what happened last week between Hayes and Andrade. Put the fries in the bag, bro. You lost. A massive ball breaking out after Carmelo Hayes chastised Andrade for blowing his opportunity at the United States Championship and the disdain between these two men. Now, this has long tra since transcended competitive spirit. This has got personal deeply. And we, the fans, have been the beneficiaries. thus far against Carmelo Hayes. Hey, the 2024 WWE photogenic trading cards are available now. Shop your favorite WWE superstar and trade with friends. Go to PaniniAmerica.com for more information. You know, Cole, coming off of last week's battle with LA Knight over the United States Championship, I actually understand what Andrade's feeling. Andrade tried to show respect to LA Knight and in return got disrespected. That's going to drive Andrade. That's going to motivate Andrade to get through Carmelo Hayes so he can get back to LA Knight. With all due respect to LA Knight, he did try to go for a fist bump. And there's a big drop kick by Andrade as we start things off in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. But fist bumps are one thing. A handshake, man to man. That's what respect is all about. I fist bumped about 11 kids walking to the ring tonight. I don't care about any of them. And if you, you don't care about anybody. It, listen, here's the deal. If you're wondering why Carmelo Hayes attacked LA Knight moments ago, it's because of what LA Knight said last week. There we go. And I'm right into the corner, and Carmelo Hayes again. These two know each other so well. L.A. Knight said, I'm still the champion. Melo's been chirping. He blew his chance. I'm moving on. Don't care anymore about these two guys. Hayes took exception to that and obviously assaulted L.A. Knight moments ago. I think Carmelo Hayes has got to be feeling, oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Wow. Both men in trouble. This match continues. I hope. Sorry. And we are back live on Friday Night SmackDown. This action, as you see, got the commercial break, hot and heavy. Carmelo Hayes taking out Andrade. Here's the cover. Looking for the win. Kick out by Andrade. Andrade has a 3-2 lead in this series. This went down just before the commercial break. Tremendous impact on the hardest part of the ring, out on the apron. The fact that Carmelo was able to recover and now take control of this matchup cannot be overlooked. Yeah, the flashy, agile, athletic, smooth Carmelo Hayes in control. Both of these superstars, former NXT champions. And speaking of NXT, next week is coming Tuesday. NXT makes its debut on the CW Live from Chicago. CM Punk will be there, the special guest referee for the NXT championship match. It's Tuesday at 8, 7 central. Visit the CW.com slash NXT for more.
Both of these superstars understand that it's not what oh. you've done in the past, it's what have you done for me lately business. And both Andrade, since returning to WWE, and Carmelo, since being a first-round draft pick, realize you've got to figure out a way to separate yourself from the pack. And That's what this rivalry began about. And, and not just the first-round draft pick, the third overall pick of the entire draft. Now both men down, center of the ring. And if you don't think being kicked that early in the draft comes with a tremendous amount of pressure, just ask Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo understands that there are certain expectations of him here in WWE, and Hayes knows he has to continue to improve and step up to get there. And he's been able to uh, handle the pressure throughout his career. A NXT breakout tournament winner back in 2021, former two-time North American champion, former NXT champion, Andrade! Delivering an elbow. And now uh, Andrade, that dragon screw, takes down Carmelo Hayes. Take out the leg, take out the speed. Oh! Wow. First 48 by Hayes. Cover on Andrade. Hook of the leg and a kick out. Talk about from out of nowhere, Corey. Unbelievable wherewithal by Hayes to execute the first 48 as a defensive maneuver. Double knees right in the grill of Andrade, and now Hayes with a chance to make something big happen, and it looks like Carmelo knows that. Carmelo Hayes with an opportunity. It digs deep in his craw, the fact that he has not been able to take the lead in this series against Andrade. And now Melo to the corner, double knees, nobody home. Andrade moves out of harm's way again, Carmelo favoring that leg. Andrade picking up the pace, down goes Melo. I think Carmelo learning the hard way. That was not the time to get cute. That was not the time to make a statement. This matchup is still back and forth, but now Andrade looking to rip control away. Yeah, kept up by the third generation superstar, El Idolo Andrade. I think Carmelo Hayes about to see shadows. And into the corner! Covered by Andrade! Looks for the win! Hook of the leg! And a kick out! Andrade taking a moment to compose himself, perhaps attempt to strategize the next phase of his game. We talked about it with Bailey and Naomi. The more familiar you become with an opponent, the more difficult it becomes to strategize for future matchups. I guarantee you both these athletes are thinking that right now. Andrade now. Looking for his uh, finishing maneuver known as the message, but Carmelo Hayes off the second oh! Down goes Andrade! Cover for the win! Got it now! My goodness! How did Andrade kick out? Hayes can't